uh, the truth about even XL treatments. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Uh, the truth about Haven XL tree tents and uh, I've owned mine probably a little over a year and I've camped in it many times and I'm just going to give you my thoughts and share some advice to you if you're looking to purchase this item. All right, I want to talk to you today about a couple of concerns that I have with the Haven XL tree tent. But first, I want to go ahead and answer the question that probably everybody's thinking right now. Is it really worth buying the Haven XL tree tent? Uh, is there any value to it versus the cost? And my answer is yes. This is a great product. It's a great company. This company will pretty much bend over backwards to satisfy their customers. There's two concerns that I have. Well, really it's just one concern, but it creates a second concern. The air pad. So the Haven XL insulated air pad, uh, if it holds air, it works great. So if it doesn't hold air, then it creates a problem because lose your rigidity in the structure of this tree tent. And in the result of losing air pressure in your air pad, you start getting the taco effect. So you're laying flat, as the air pad loses air, it starts curving inward and you get the taco effect. Now then, this isn't the case with every Haven XL tree tent. This is only if you get an air pad that leaks. Unfortunately, I did not test out my equipment after I purchased it for about three months after I purchased it. And it was probably maybe four to five months before I really camped overnight in it for the first time and really got to truly test this uh, thing. And that's when I discovered that my air pad did in fact have some kind of leak in it somewhere. So first of all, I want to tell you that I was in communication with the company. Uh, originally, I had an issue with my my rain fly, my tarp. On the tarp, it folds down on both sides, and then in the center, the bottom of the tarp, it has a loop and toggle, if you can see right here. There's a loop right here, and there's a hook attached to the tarp. My hooks came off immediately, setting it up the first time. And uh, the reason the hooks came off, it just, uh, the stitching wasn't tied off. It was stitched in there, but it never got tied off. Uh, I never even reached out to the company about that issue. He just saw my first video that I did on the video, on the street tent, the Haven Excel, and just sent me a brand new, new tarp. I thought that was pretty amazing. That's when I knew I was dealing with a company that cares about what the customers think and, you know, going a step further and making sure that customers are happy with their purchase. So like I said, if your air pad holds air, and kind of what I've been finding out in my uh, research is, I don't really know the percentage of how many, uh, how many of the Haven XL air pads are uh, being shipped out with some sort of flaw in the seams. Uh, but what I've been finding is a lot of people are getting a lot of pinholes in the stitching area. And like I said, I waited way too long to address the company with my air pad issue. But I decided to go ahead and reach out anyway. And I was told if I could provide video proof of submerging this air pad in a swimming pool and little air bubbles coming out, they would replace my air pad. Well, I went to a friend's house and used their pool. I could not get, I could not find any air bubbles coming out, but my pad still leaks air. After about 10 minutes, I've lost quite a bit of air enough that I'm starting to taco in the tree tent. So with that being said, I did come up with a solution to help with the taco effect. Uh, 
a lot of you may have seen my a lot of you may have seen my video that I did uh, three easy steps to how to improve your experience with the Haven Excel tree tent. Uh, basically what I did I just put a one wind straps runs it connects to the carabiner and runs underneath the tree tent. Basically that just keeps you from uh, sagging too much. Uh, you can balance and adjust that strap to where you're not getting the banana effect and you're not getting the taco effect. But it's a fine balance. <clears throat> if your air pad will hold air, it's a perfect lay flat balance. So I'm in my Haven XL tree tent right now. I love this thing. I love the versatility of it. I love being able to hang them in the air, in the tree, in the trees. Uh, I'm hanging on my receiver hitch hammock uh, device thing. This thing is freaking awesome. The Haven XL fits perfect on this thing. And uh, I just need an air pad that holds air. Uh, I completely filled the air pad full of air. And. Uh, It's been about 15 minutes and I've lost a little bit of air already. And I'm guessing here in about 20 minutes, if I were to lay down in here to add more pressure to this air pad, that I'm gonna start tacoing because I'm gonna lose air. Just sitting here, it's, it's fine. When you lay down on it, those little fine pinholes that you might have, not all air pads are shipped out that way. It's just, uh, I don't know how many percentage wise, but mine's one of them that does have it. But it's along in the stitching. All right, so I'm going to give you a couple more options for the air pad for your Haven Excel tree tent. And uh, these are two awesome air pad options. They are a little pricey. So, with that, I'm going to compare the Haven Excel insulated air pad to these other two air pads that I'm going to show you. First of all, the Haven Excel air pad if you purchase it separately it's hundred and ten dollars the dimensions on this Haven XL air pad is uh, 30 inches wide by 80 inches long and then I'm gonna put up on the screen the pack size and weight and the R value the other two options are gonna be the thermal rest Mondo King air pad it's a great option. It's a very comfortable air pad. There's two major downfalls to that air pad, and it is the pack size and mainly the pack size. The R value is seven. That's a high R value if you're trying to camp in the summertime. Uh, if you don't want to use that air pad, it's going to be way too hot. The second air pad option is another Thermo Rest product. It's the Neo Air. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I'm going to put it up on the screen and I'm going to have links below in the description box so you can check out those for yourself. I have not tested the Neo Air Air Pad yet. I'm going to do that with y'all watching for the very first time. I think it's going to be a great option. The main reason is the pack size. It packs down small and it doesn't weigh very much at all. It's going to be a great trail option. i pack this up in your side by side throw it in your motorcycle option the mondo king air pad you're not going to be able to do that unless your car can okay option number one for replacing your haven xl tree tent air pad is the mondo king by thermarest it's the double xl this will fit your haven xl tree tent so it's basically the same dimensions the haven xl pad is right at three to three and a half inches this is four inches thick it still fits and with this fully inflated you do not get the taco effect i mean just you really can't even notice it even without the strap running underneath when you add the strap underneath it just really flattens everything out so let's uh you see the downfall for this and it's the most expensive option as well right, so i'm gonna put it on the screen how much it costs currently at this time this video and how much it costs, uh, it's kind of expensive, but man, you will get a lot of use out of this. Camping, uh, when you go on vacation, 
maybe you don't like the hotel beds, kind of like me, I take this along with me. Unless I'm flying, then I gotta take something else. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's get it put in here and let's just check it out. Here's the Thermarest Mondo King XXL air pad and the Haven XL tree tent. 30 inches wide, 80 inches long, four inches thick, R value of seven. Overall, we get a much flatter lay with the Thermarest Mondo King in here. So the advantages of the Thermarest Mondo King, better lay flat, more comfortable. It's more quiet when you're moving around at night. It doesn't make that uh, plastic sound when you're moving around on it. The downfalls is the pack size and the cost. All right, this is the option for the air pad that I'm really excited about. I have not tried this in the Haven XL. I have taken this air pad out and tested it uh, just in the house and it's very comfortable. Now this, pa uh, look at the pack size, very small. And I think the weight is a little over two pounds. Man, check out how small the pack size is on this. So there's my hand. You can see this packs down really small. That is exciting news because if we get to fix our taco effect and have a more comfortable, more reliable air pad for the Haven XL tree tent, this could be a game changer for the Haven XL, especially if you're out on the trail or your motorcycle camping or taking it out in your side by side. You're kind of worried that your Haven XL air pad might leak, might not. The Mondo King's a little too big to carry because of its pack size. This is a little pricey, but it's not as much as the Mondo King, and it is more than the Haven XL uh, air pad. But let's just check it out. Let's get it out and put it in the Haven XL. All right, here it is the Thermarest Neo Air Topo Lux XL air pad 30 inches wide 77 inches long four inches thick our value of 2.7 i believe i'll have that on the screen for you okay without even laying on this air pad the thermarest uh, topo lux i think this is going to be an amazing option for the haven excel treatment and the thermarest air pads are very good quality I've owned many Thermarest air pads I've never had an issue with none of them. And I've been using some for going on five or six years, the same air pads. And they just set up just like did from day one. Let's get it and check it out. Oh, wow. Sitting in it for the very first time, I'm not getting hardly any crease down the middle at all. So hands down, by far, this air pad, the Thermarest Topo Lux XL, is the best option I've seen so far. <clears throat> I've got to be able to test. The Mondo King is an awesome air pad. I didn't think you could get any better than the Mondo King to go along with the Haven XL. I've been searching, searching for something equal to the comfortness and the quality of the Mondo King. But I didn't like the pack sides, man. I really want to take this on my motorcycle. Uh, I want to take it out on my side-by-side. -side. I just don't want to carry that big old Mondo King. And I can't trust my Haven XL air pad. This is it. The Thermal Rest Topo Lux XL. In a lot of my research, I've seen people on the fence of buying a Haven XL tree tent. And then later on discovering that they did in fact not go with the Haven XL tree tent. And man, you're missing out. You really are. Just as soon as you get yours in, check everything out. If your air pad does not leak, it will be a great night's sleep for you. You will have no issues. If you get the taco effect a little bit, you can check out that other video, uh, Three Great Ways to Improve Your Experience with the Haven XL. 
by running the one wind tree straps underneath and just adjusting it, making the adjustments, getting it flat without the taco and without the banana effect. This air pad, I don't even think I'm probably going to need the strap underneath. Uh, like I said, I, this is the first time y'all saw with me for the first time experiencing this air pad with a Haven XL tree tent. <laughs> it's awesome. This, this is it. This is it. You saw the pack size. It's a little pricey. If you're worried about the air pad, buying the Haven XL tree tent, you can purchase the tree tent without the tarp. You can purchase it without the air pad. You can purchase just the tree tent itself. You're going to get so much out of this product right here. You can use it on the ground as a bivy tent. You could put it on a cot, sleep on a cot with the Haven XL tree tent. You can hang it in the trees. You can hang it on your Jamaica receiver hitch hammock holder. Whatever this thing is called. It's, it's awesome. This setup is pretty dang cool. Think about it. You're going to spend about as much. The cost of the Haven XL tree tent just by itself is about the cost of your tent that you're going to buy. And then you're going to buy an air pad to sleep on in there. Just, if you're worried about the Haven XL air pad, just leave it out. Don't add it to the cart. I would suggest getting the tarp. The tarp is amazing. It fits perfect with the Haven XL. It connects by carabiner to the ends of where you connect it. And it's always there. You can pack it with it already on there. It makes, low, it makes setup time so much faster and easier. I did a video here a while back where I compared the Haven XL tree tent to the Amok tree hammock. The Amok, tree, the, the Amok hammock. And in the end of that video, I did go with the Amok versus the Comfort. And that's basically what my opinion was, the Comfort. But in all honesty, this past year of all my camping trips, Every time I've wanted to use either this or the Amok, I've gone with this. It's just more versatile. It's just so much easier to set up, faster to set up. And it's easier to get in and out of. And it's it really is like a small tent that can hang up in the tree. So to sum it up, do I recommend the Haven XL tree tent? Absolutely. It's a great, unique, versatile Super comfortable product. You heard the issues that I had with it. Those issues have been fixed. Uh, it's up to you how you want to go about uh, purchasing your Haven XL tree tent. Uh, if you're on the fence about it, do it. You're going to love it. I have rarely found anybody that didn't like it. The ones that didn't like it, they were complaining about the taco effect. Maybe they got an air pad that had a slow leak. I don't know. Check your air pad. Check everything over. Get it taken care of right away. And you won't regret it. If you want a little better experience with the air pad, which is going to increase your experience, a better experience with the Haven XL tree tent, man, check out the Thermarest Topo Lux XL air pad. This air pad and this shelter right here, top of my list of camping. Yeah.